Hi guys, welcome back to my Tuesday video. Today I'm showing you some DIY wall decor. The first thing I'm going to show you is a gallery wall. The first thing I did was take all the frames I had and trace them out on gift tissue paper because it's inexpensive and easy to peel off the wall. At this point, I already knew what pictures I wanted framed and what pictures I wanted to paint on to make more wall art. Here are the two pictures that I'm using and these are the quotes that I'm using as well. Next, just measure out where the hooks are on the back of the frame and that's where you will place your nails. This is my completed gallery wall. I've read that gallery walls should be themed so I chose Tim and I as our theme. This is a picture from NASA from the night we started dating of the moon and that's us on the same night. This is our cat Mona when she was a kitten. My cat Molly, us camping. My life is short painting. My painting of PA. Us meeting David Dobrik and Jason. A picture from our trip to Jamaica. My painting of the Eagles logo. And our trip to Canada to see Niagara Falls. Now I know a lot of pictures look really crooked, but it's because I got up my frames from the dollar store, so they're cheap and just not even. The next thing I'm showing you is a yarn wall hanging. This was really easy to make. It was just time consuming. It took me about three hours. All you'll need is yarn and a wooden dowel. So right here all I'm doing is making the wall hanging part that will hang off the nail. All I have to do is tie a knot and then wrap it around the dowel a few times and then do the same thing on the other side. Right here all I'm doing is adding a little hot glue to keep it in place. I started off my yarn by measuring it the same size as the dowel. With my left hand I'm looping the yarn and measuring again. And I'll do that over and over again until I get quite a few pieces of yarn in my hand. Next you grab the end with all the loops and then you pull through all the strands of yarn. And then you'll do the same process over again with each color that you have. And here I decided I was going to braid a couple strands of yarn. The last thing you need to do is cut a shape into your yarn. And here's the final piece. And this is the last of the DIYs today. Thanks for watching.